Closing your pool not only feels overwhelming, but it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And without the right tools, you risk damaging your pool's plumbing or equipment. There's nothing worse than opening up your pool and finding a cracked skimmer or a collapsed wall. So let's review the 11 tools that every pool owner should use to close their pools. And I'll let you know the other tools that aren't really necessary or helpful. Number one is a winter pill. Algae stains and scum can build up under the cover during the winter. And chances are you're not adding chemicals when the cover is on. A winter pill, however, slowly releases enzymes, clarifiers, and stain preventers into the water, and this helps break down contaminants that build up over the winter. As an alternative, you can add the chemicals separately if you own them, but it's not slow release, and the winter pill is cheap, so it's worth it. And if you need more help with adding the right winter chemicals, check out our other video. Number two is a winter skimmer cover or a winter skimmer plug. You may need to lower the water level to prevent your skimmer from freezing and cracking, but this puts unwanted stress on your pool cover as rain and snow collect on the top. I recommend adding a winter skimmer cover or a plug. That way you don't have to lower the water level, which will help support your winter cover. The skimmer cover I recommend acts like a Tupperware lid you can add over your skimmer opening. And if you don't wanna use a skimmer cover, you can use number three, a gizmo. Rain and snow melt can collect in your in-ground skimmer over the winter. If you don't remove the water from inside it before it freezes, the ice can expand and crack the skimmer. The gizmo solves this problem. It plugs up the hole in the bottom of the skimmer and it acts as an ice compensator. So if water gets in there and it freezes, it'll crack the gizmo instead of your skimmer. And if you have an above ground pool, you actually don't need a gizmo. You can just remove the hose from the bottom of the skimmer to allow the water to drain. As an alternative, you can plug up the bottom of your skimmer with a rubber plug and then use an empty plastic bottle as your ice compensator. Number four is a heavy duty air pillow. Your pool water solidifies and expands in freezing temperatures. And this can damage or collapse your above ground pool walls. An inflatable pillow floats in the water under the cover and it acts as a large ice compensator to absorb the pressure from ice expansion. It also keeps water and debris from collecting in the middle, keeping the cover from pulling on the walls. You want to fill the pillow three quarters of the way with air so it doesn't pop. And look for heavy duty pillows with grommets to keep it secure in the middle. And if you can't find an air pillow, Really, any large inflatable will work. Do you need more help with pool closing and year-round maintenance? Well, get your copy of the Pool Care Handbook by going to swimu.com book or check the link in the description. Number five is a dummy salt cell. If you have an in-ground saltwater pool, it's a good idea to remove, clean, and store your cell indoors. If you don't, freezing temperatures could damage it. You wanna remove it and put a dummy cell in its place, or you can use an old dead cell that'll work too. And if you don't have either, remove the cell and seal the open pipes with two rubber expansion plugs. And for more information on how to clean a saltwater pool cell, you can check out our other video. Number six is cover clips. If you live in an area with high winds like I do, your above ground pool cover could rip apart and cause damage. So you can use inexpensive plastic cover clips that snap over the cover along the top rail. I recommend using three clips between each top cap. Number seven is a wind wrap. You can wrap your above ground winter cover to add even more wind protection. This is shrink wrapping your winter cover around the top of your pool. And if you can't find this specific product, you can use any industrial stretch wrap. Number eight is heavy duty water tubes. Don't be that person who puts heavy bricks or cinder blocks around your pool to keep your cover in place. That's why they make vinyl water tubes to secure your tarp style winter cover. They're safer because they won't cause any damage if they fall into the pool. Now the pro move is to use water tubes with two chambers. The dual chamber tubes prevent them from rolling and if one chamber fails, you still have another one hanging on until you can replace it or not, it's up to you. I recommend investing in a higher quality, thicker tube that'll last for a few seasons. You can also prevent them from popping by filling them only three quarters of the way with water. So you wanna leave a little room for ice expansion when they freeze. Number nine is an automatic cover pump. Rain and snow collect on the top and start pulling on the cover, which can cause rips and tears. And this is also a safety hazard if you have small children or animals around. So it's important to keep the water off the cover. Automatic cover pumps turn on and off when they detect water. So leave it on top of the cover all winter and let it do the work for you. And if you don't have a cover pump, you can honestly just create a siphon with a short garden hose. Number 10 is a leaf net. Now, if you close your pool a little too early or you live in an area or your pool is in an area with a lot of trees, this is gonna save you from having to remove leaves all day. The leaf net allows you to remove all the leaves in just one move. 
Once the leaves stop falling, you can store the net away for next season. And if you don't have a leaf net, another good option is just using a leaf blower to help remove the leaves when the cover is dry. Number 11 is an air compressor. To winterize your in-ground pool, you need to blow all the water from your pipes. Otherwise, the water left in your plumbing system could freeze and crack. The best tool for the job is an air compressor. This is a multi-purpose tool that you might already own or you can rent from a hardware store. And you can check out our other video on how to blow out your in-ground pool plumbing. But if you're uncomfortable with this process, I recommend hiring a professional to ensure it's done right. Now let me know in the comments if I've missed anything, and if you need more help closing your pool this year, be sure to check out the pool care handbook at swimu.com book, and watch our other videos on closing an in-ground or above-ground pool.